we are just getting this headline, Congressman, so I want to make sure I tell everyone it again. Sure. An official is telling us that these documents, these classified documents that have been delivered to your committee, seen by your chairman, do not confirm Trump's allegations of wiretapping. So I want to be very clear about that. The FBI director going to be testifying, as you say, on Monday. What are you going to be asking him, uh, given <laughs> this? Well, well, it's going to be uh, Director Comey, Director of the FBI, as well as the Director of the NSA, um, Admiral Rogers. Those will be the two uh, witnesses at the hearing. And, and this, is, this is an unprecedented move of, ha of the House Intelligence Committee um, having an a unclassified open hearing. Um, this shows the, you know, transparency um, in this review. And this is, this is, there's going to be a lot of topics. I think it's ultimately going to be must-watch TV. Um, it's going to be talking about Russian involvement and in trying to influence our election, a yeah. timeline of, of the hack of the D, DNC, the Democratic National Committee, and the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. We'll be talking about a status of investigations um, by law enforcement. And what will be interesting is what is able to be shared or not shared um, in that environment. Um, so this is this is going to be probably a, a long a, a long day on the on the 20th. I, I would imagine now now again, given that we now understand uh, from this official that these documents do not confirm any allegations of wiretapping, that obviously fits with what your leadership has says. It fits mm -hmm. with what Speaker Ryan has said. It, it fits with what uh, we have heard from uh, person after person, including the former head of the DNI. Numerous Republicans have called on the president uh, to retract the allegation that President Obama wiretapped him. Some have gone even further. The Deputy Whip, Tom Cole, said unless uh, there's compelling proof, President Obama is owed an apology from President Trump. Again, what we understand right now is that proof is not there. There is no, there is nothing that would support this at all. Do you agree that President Trump should apologize to President Obama? Well, I'm going to quote my father, Bob Hurd, and it's something that he's told um, all of my friends when they've gotten married. Uh, it never hurts to say you're sorry. And I think that goes for, for this situation. It goes for the situation uh, with our British friends. Um, our intelligence cooperation between the U.S. and the British is, is one of the strongest um, that we have. And it never hurts to say sorry to your friends.